Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's try this one. Draw an angle of measure 153 degrees and divide it into four equal parts. Now one important thing that I forgot to mention was right now you might not be able to draw all the angles using ruler compass. So for complicated angles like 153 degrees, prefer using the protractor but for angles like 90, 60, 120, 135, 150 or 45, try using the ruler compass construction. So for 153, let's use the protractor and draw an angle of 153 degrees. So this is 153. Now we have to divide it into four equal parts. So how do we divide an angle into four equal parts? By angle bisector. So let's, what we will do is, first you draw an arc. With this point O as the center, we draw an arc like this. And then we mark these two points. Let's call this point as A, this point as B. So with point B as a center and radius slightly greater than half AB, we draw another arc like this. Similarly, with A as center and radius slightly greater than half AB, we draw another arc. So these two arcs intersect at a point. So we join this point to the point O. So that means this line divides this angle into two equal halves, but we want to divide it into four equal halves. So what we will do, we will divide each of these further into two equal halves. So for let's mark this point as C. So now we are going to draw an angle by sector for this angle. That is with A as center and radius slightly more than half AC, we draw an arc. Similarly, with C as center and radius slightly greater than half AC, we draw another arc. So when you join these two, this is an angle bisector which divides this angle into two equal angles. That is one and two. Similarly, we will do it for this side. With B as center, we draw one arc again. With C as center, we draw another arc. So in this fashion, here also we will get two equal angles. So basically, if we call this as angle 1, 2, 3 and 4, so we see that angle 1 is equal to angle 2 is equal to angle 3 is equal to angle 4 and also the sum of all of these angles is equal to 153 degrees. So we have successfully divided 153 degrees into four equal parts. But while dividing this also, you need to make sure that while taking the radius, your orientation of the compass should not get disturbed because that would disturb the entire calculation of the construction. So I hope that this lesson on practical geometry would have helped you. Try to construct this yourself because only looking at the videos would not help. You need to draw it yourself. Uh, so when you are looking at these videos of practical geometry, take a sheet of paper and your geometry box along with you. So as you see the video, try to draw the same thing on the sheet of paper. So that is really going to help you. So I hope this would have helped you and see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.